The 17th green at TPC Sawgrass is infamous and it's not hard to see why. Yeah, you know what? There's no telling how many golf balls have gone into the water at that hole or all the rest. But now we're meeting the man who retrieves those balls from the bottom. First Coast News chief photojournalist Nick Marone has his story. The sound of lawn mowers signals the start of the day at TPC Sawgrass. Every blade of grass is cut. The greens trip and under these rippling waters lies a treasure trove for golfers. But getting it isn't for the faint of heart. You can't be afraid of gators and snakes. For more than four decades, Gordon Davis has braved these waters. I'm a professional golf ball diver. Suited up in his diving gear, even though the water is shallow. I'll see you in a little bit. Finding the golf balls can be quite a challenge. All I feel. With the murky water, he feels around for the golf balls by hand, only being able to see about eight inches in front of him at a time. And often, he isn't alone in the water. He carries a gator knife with him, but in his 45 years of diving, he says he's never been bitten. I've run into him, hit him, Saw them on the bottom, swim into them, but never got bit. With the famous island green of hole 17. Everybody liked this hole. There is no shortage of golf balls in the surrounding water. I can come out and do five, six thousand. That's a lot of swings and misses. Oh yeah, a lot of bad words. <laughs> so if you've ever hooked a golf ball into the water, you are not alone. Gordon dives for the balls about three to four times a year and pulls out around 2,000 each time. I got another bag here. In his nearly half a century career, he has pulled out millions of golf balls for courses all over the First Coast. I don't know what he's doing out here. He must have hatched out. Can you and see And taking a moment to help out his fellow creatures, he sometimes finds lost on the course. Be beautiful, and he can buy it too. And then comes the next step sorting the thousands of balls by hand. Callaway, Titleist, TaylorMade, you name it, and you could probably find it in this pile. The balls pulled from the water will be washed, reprocessed, and either turned into range balls or sold. I just get them, let them worry about the rest of it. <laughs> but for a man working on one of the most beautiful courses in the nation, when the work is done, you won't find Gordon out here on the links. I played once or twice, but I, I'm just too busy getting them than to hit them. <laughs> he says the true joy he gets every day is that he loves what he does. That's after you enjoy something, it's never a job. And when you love your job, it always feels like a birdie of a day. Wow. Katie Jeffries with photographer Nick Marone. First Coast News on your side.